obviously weren't there to teach them anything. But we did try to teach them how to pace themselves, how to get work done, how to be a good partner. We were able to really assess like who knew how to wrestle and who was just kind of going on effort. We wanted to put them through a lot of drills. We wanted to put them through a lot of scenarios and actually see what they had. We want to see your skills. We're going to give you guys some free time to create and do the things that uh, have led you to success with, with wrestling takedowns, your pinch game. We just really wanted to see where these guys were as far as like, you know, take down defense, they could think outside the box. We gave them a single leg and we're like, all right, how, you know, you finish it the way you want to finish it. And we just wanted to see their level in wrestling. Мне больше как бы нравится то, что там болевые, ну и как говорится, я в тайском боксе уже э, как это пик, ну, допустим, единобос, да, там, если брать карате, кикбоксинг, мой это, ну, самая вершина это ММА. We had a couple of really talented wrestlers out here, Ryan Malo and George Hickman, I believe earned some uh, All-American honors at their respective colleges, so they were really fun to watch. Alex Volkanovsky had wrestled in Australia, not exactly the same as wrestling in the U.S. We were pleasantly surprised with his level of wrestling, and a couple of the other guys, again, just effort-based, and, and we got to see, you know, a little bit of heart, a little bit of burn, and, uh, yeah, a little bit of skill. I hope to achieve by getting into the team. But um, yeah, I've been enjoying it. I'm a bit battered and bruised, but I, w I, w I was expecting that to happen. So it's been great so far, and I've uh, pushed myself hard. And I'm, I'm quite positive with how I've been going. I don't know about the board. We try to go to the board. Готовимся, трудимся. Дальше видно будет, сами тренера выберут достойных. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I can. I can a bit. But uh, I feel good now. No injuries? Yeah, uh, my knees are a bit banged up. But um, yeah, I can work around it. So it's not, not too detrimental. It's Thailand, and it's hot. It's good, man. It's uh, good practices. All the coaches are putting on good practices, and everyone here is good. There's a lot of camaraderie, and uh, it's just a great opportunity and a great experience. This is literally the hardest I've ever been pushing my entire life. There's no doubt about it. They're all pushing you. These are top-level, top-notch uh, trainers, so they want you to be your best because they're the best team in the world. So you come here, train hard, be the best. Yeah, for sure, yeah, yeah, so tomorrow is the section for me, so gotta kill those guys. <laughs> Fernando just got done yelling at people for being late. He said, man, you're lucky. You're lucky, you're in trouble. He goes, they're in trouble, I'm training today. I like his style. Jiu-Jitsu for MMA is really important, you know, everybody know train Jiu-Jitsu. Everybody needs Jiu-Jitsu. Everybody uses the Jiu-Jitsu for help you fight. That's really important, you know. And uh, we sometimes we talk oh, the Jiu-Jitsu save you, and uh, sometimes the Jiu-Jitsu he um, he show for everybody who better fighter, you know. Okay, I'm a good Muay Thai, I'm a good wrestler, but I, I want to put him down. But I want want to put him down. I want you to know where you go, what can I do when I put him down. When I put him down, I use my jiu-jitsu. So you have to know jiu-jitsu, that's right the class today. So what I want. That's obviously Fernando's field. 
know, our 53 black belt. We just, he just had him doing a lot of drills, and obviously we had a spar live with them, uh, grapple with these guys and see where, you know, how, how they can hold up. It's neat to actually see them start to work together like that, which is what we want for them to gel as a training group. BJJ session again, uh, we just wanted to see what they had. So Fernando put them through a lot of scenarios. Asked them to throw up arm bars and triangles, asked them to hit their sweeps, hit some escapes and things like that. It was really nice to let Fernando run that one and to be able to really sit back on this kind of with my notepad and just kind of mark and see what I thought about some of their, um, like their competency. Like some guys were very competent in their top positions. Some were, you know, really bad on bottom. You know, some were the other way around. Some guys had really flexible legs, really dangerous looking guards, but then they got on top and they were just kind of holding and hanging out and they didn't seem to have the repertoire. It was really nice to see who was balanced, who wasn't, who was comfortable, who wasn't. And again, you know, you can almost pick their fight strategy and, and the way they fight just by watching their habits. I feel a lot better being able to grapple. That's more of my base is jujitsu and wrestling. And that's pretty much how, how I fight too. I like to take the fight down to the ground. and So it was nice to play, play into my game a little bit more today. So I, I felt a lot better than yesterday. Just getting warmed up. I mean, it's just another day at the office. So it is here, hey? If you're a fighter, you're a fighter. только самый позитивный как бы охота свои силы проверить на таком уровне это первый раз для меня хороший опыт very good technique good defense and you see the jiu jitsu someone's very very good skill no Fernando yeah he's a genius <laughs> Jiu Jitsu dictionary. They were calling him, and yeah, I know why. He knows absolutely everything. Almost every day I do a session with him, and okay. I learn something every time. Keep to him, escape. Run late, escape. It's okay. Yeah. We look more for who the guys have more technique, no? Who these guys move better? Which ones don't move that well? Because of course we know some guys very good striker, someone's very good grappling and wrestling to put down, someone's very good jiu-jitsu. We look for some guys like he, he have good base, good foundation about jiu-jitsu, you know? What we expected, you know, you can't let anything get to you otherwise. You're getting worn down? Right? Yeah, I'm pretty tired, I mean, it's just hard, the training's really hard. That's what it came to though. Mentally, it breaks you down. Like I say, you gotta stay tough. You can have a good heart, you can do anything. These guys, they push you to your best, but that's what we're here to show them is our best. It's not, not a kind of opportunity you can just pass up, you know? You might not ever get the chance again, so you've gotta make the most of it. After kind of easing it out for, for the wrestling and, and the jiu-jitsu back to pushing their heart and will and soul, we made them run Big Buddha. Big Buddha run is just a really steep hill that you just you're just running up the whole time and it's gonna take you at least anywhere from 23 minutes to 35 minutes. It all depends on, on the person running it. <sighs> what a workout. So bright and early on Saturday morning, we woke these guys up and took him to the massive monument here in Phuket Island, Big Buddha. It's about a four, four and a half kilometer run, mostly uphill, there's a couple flat spots, but there's some really, really steep walls that you gotta climb. As a matter of fact, I rode my motor pad up the other night to the Big Buddha. It was quite a journey on a moped, so I can only imagine a run. Uh, as soon as I start running, I go wake up. It's scary. I feel very confident. Uh, these guys have definitely pushed us to the limit, so this is just another addition to it. So 
pretty excited to see how it goes. Yeah. So just grind, push through the same thing you guys have been doing every workout so far. I almost did it with you guys today, but I didn't want to embarrass them. <laughs> So they've been through the beach workout, the Muay Thai, the, the jits, the wrestling and, and all the other stuff and then born with, with plonk butter on them. It wasn't to see if they're good at running or, or anything like that, you know, it was just to see if these guys could just go and go and go after they've been through, you know, the past two days. And again, everyone did fantastic. There was one guy, you know, he was he was injured and he, he just kept going through and going through, even though he was walking it, but he, he wouldn't he wouldn't let up, he just wanted to go and go and go. These guys were trying to stare at elephants and kind of have a look while their legs were pretty much crying and cursing them. There's a bit right at the beginning where it's like an elephant camp. And uh, I just walked that bit because I thought it was more efficient to walk it fast than jogging on the same spot pretty much. Like, it's hard to jog on at that bit. So. Tired, worn out, broken. Yeah, mainly just knowing what you know, the goal was and what I was, yeah, what I was there for made us all push for it. Yeah, that was full on, especially after the two days of yeah, hardcore training and in the heat. And, oh man, it was steep. It's, it can break a lot of people up, to be honest. But some lads, you've got to give it to them. They turned up the night before the tryouts, and obviously it's it's not just a heat. Phuket's humid as well. I guess my goal was to try to do it fast, but more than anything, like, I didn't want to stop. I had a couple of disappointments, just my body's not doing what I want it to right now. Running a little low on energy, but that's the only thing. Uh, everything else, super positive. Training's great. I love the push. It's the first time I'd run it, so I was a bit unsure where I was, if I was halfway up the hill or nearly at the top, wasn't sure. <laughs> Wouldn't have done it that quick without him. <laughs> Hard work, but not too bad. I was just trying not to walk because I don't think my legs would have started again once I started walking. Why do we do this? I've definitely pushed through it. Yeah, it's, it's beat me up mentally and physically, but you know I'm still here, so happy with myself. Uh, one more thing left, so. It's not over yet, but it's been a fantastic weekend. I'm super blessed. It's a, it's a good challenge. It's a, definitely an achievement to get up here if you've never been up here before. The times this year were really, really good. I didn't really have anyone slacking behind. I'm really proud of all the guys' efforts. These guys are just determined. All these kids deserve a spot to be on the Tiger Muay Thai team. Such a hard decision to make. <sighs> what a workout. These guys had a big, big Buddha run the same morning they had a grappling tournament. Hard decision to make. Okay. Really, all these guys deserve it, really. We were still arguing about the fifth guy. We didn't know who we were gonna give it to. First scholarship for Muay Thai. Who's going to make a scholarship?